Welcome to the demonstration of Sweet People Workforce Management. I'm going to start by building an employee schedule for the week. I am logged in as a manager and am currently viewing my real-time dashboard for the location I oversee. I can see the direct comparison between my scheduled versus worked KPIs so far this week and my progress throughout the day. Within the Shifts tab, there are three different ways for me to build a schedule a daily, weekly, or multi-location format. In the daily view, we see the daily schedule with the hours of operation across the top and my staff on the left-hand side with their scheduled shifts in the middle and sales forecasts along the bottom. This view helps me schedule my workforce to meet customer demand. In the weekly schedule view, I can see my employees on the left-hand side with their scheduled shifts and any time off in the middle. Any overtime will be indicated on the shift as well as any totals on the right-hand side. I will then review my KPI table at the top to ensure I am within my target range for the week. Now that I've validated that I am within my target ranges, I will publish my schedule via text message, email, and push notification to my employees. As an employee, I can view my upcoming shifts on the Sweet People Workforce Management phone app. A notification of a new shift pops up. When I open up the app, I can see my upcoming shifts and request a swap if I need to. Sweet People Time Clock provides an on-site solution for employees to punch in and out on a tablet. As an employee, upon typing in my PIN, I am prompted to select the job, fulfillment, that I am clocking into. I hit punch in, and then I then see a summary of my punch event. Once on the clock, I can re-enter my PIN to be identified, I can change my job, and at the end of the day, punch out. Upon punching out, I can review my punch times. You can see here I punched in and out for break from 12 to 12.30. I can then enter a comment for my manager to review. Then I see a punch out time and shift length summary. Logging back in as a manager and looking at the weekly view, I can utilize the toggle button to switch into approval mode to view my employees' timesheets as the week progresses. I will now see two columns for each day, a direct comparison between what was scheduled versus what has been approved, as well as three rows for each employee. The top rows are scheduled shifts and the second row is their timesheets. As soon as an employee punches in, the punch in time will show here. Once they punch out, that timesheet then becomes actionable. With AutoMatch, I can automatically approve time for employees who punch in and out on time and therefore only have to handle exceptions. To run AutoMatch, I click the Actions button and select AutoMatch, at which point any timesheets that meet the parameters will automatically be approved, drop down to the bottom row, and turn gray. Any exceptions will remain in bold for me as a manager to review. These approved shifts are what gets pushed to NetSuite and utilized by Sweet People Payroll. Once approvals are at 100%, this ends my responsibility as the manager. Now I'll shift into a payroll role and I'll follow an easy three-step pre-payroll process within Sweet People Workforce Management. First, I will check that all locations have completed approvals by running the percent approved report for my payroll period in all locations. From here, I can verify all locations are at 100% approved, as well as reach out to individual managers that still need to approve time by using the Notify button. Once I have confirmed all time is approved, I will then lock the period to ensure no further changes are made. To process time for payroll, I will select my payroll dates and view all approved shifts. I can expand individuals out to review their hours and when ready, I will click push to send the time directly into the employee records in NetSuite. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.